DeepSeek OCR update is insane. DeepSeek just dropped a 3 billion parameter OCR model today. It processes 200,000 pages per day on a single GPU. I tested it on handwritten notes, invoices, and multi-language documents. The results blew my mind. This is gonna change document processing forever. Let me show you exactly how it works. DeepSeek just released something crazy. It's called DeepSeek OCR. This is a 3 billion parameter model that can read text from images like nothing I've ever seen before. Here's what makes this insane. Most OCR tools like Tesseract can barely handle handwritten text. They struggle with tables, they mess up layouts, but DeepSeek OCR is different. It's built on their vision language model architecture. That means it doesn't just read text, it understands context, it understands layout, it understands structure, and the speed, 200,000 pages per day on an A100 GPU. That's not a typo, 200,000 pages, in one day. Let me break down what this means for you. If you run any kind of business that deals with documents, this is huge. Invoice processing, contract analysis, data entry, all of that can be automated now with insane accuracy. The model was released on Hugging Face today with an MIT license. That means you can use it commercially, you can modify it, you can integrate it into your products, no restrictions. I'm going to show you three real demos today. First, I'll extract text from handwritten lecture notes. Second, I'll convert a scanned invoice into structured JSON. Third, I'll translate a multi-language poster from Chinese and English into pure English. But before we dive into the demos, let me explain why this is such a big deal. Traditional OCR has been around forever. Tesseract, Google Vision API, AWS Textract, they all work okay for clean printed text. But the moment you throw in handwriting, complex layouts or mixed languages, they fall apart. DeepSeek OCR solves this because it's not just pattern matching, it's a vision language model. That means it processes images the same way humans do. It sees the whole page, it understands relationships between elements, it knows that a number next to a dollar sign is probably a price, it knows that text at the top of a document is probably a header. This is the same technology that powers GPT-4 vision and Claude's image understanding. But now it's specialized for OCR and it's open source, and it's only 3 billion parameters, which means you can actually run it without spending thousands on GPU credits. By the way, go check it out right now before we continue. Let me show you how to set it up. First, you need Python installed. Then you create a virtual environment. This keeps everything clean and organized. Open your terminal and run this command. Python-m venv dsocr-venv. Then activate it with source dsocr dash venv slash bin slash activate. Now install the dependencies you need, PyTorch, Transformers, and VLM. The commands are in the description below. Copy them exactly. Make sure you use the CUDA 11.8 index for PyTorch if you have an NVIDIA GPU. This ensures you get GPU acceleration. Once everything is installed, you load the model with just a few lines of code. From Transformers import, auto tokenizer, and auto model for causal LM. Then you load the model with the model name deepseek AI slash deepseek OCR. That's it. You're ready to process images. Now let's talk about the first demo handwritten lecture notes. I took a photo of some handwritten notes about machine learning. The handwriting is messy. There are diagrams, there are arrows connecting concepts. Traditional OCR would completely fail at this. I ran it through deepseek OCR with this prompt extract all the text from this handwritten lecture note image and summarize it into three bullet points. The model didn't just extract the text, it understood the content, it organized the concepts, it gave me a clean summary in three bullet points. This is insane because it means you can digitize handwritten notes instantly, students can photograph their notebooks and get searchable text, researchers can convert old handwritten documents into digital archives, doctors can digitize patient notes. The accuracy was around 95% on my test. That's better than any OCR tool I've used before. Now let me show you the second demo, invoice processing. I grabbed a scanned invoice from a vendor. It had a logo at the top, a table of line items, a total at the bottom. Typical invoice layout. I use this prompt, read the attached scanned invoice and convert it into a structured JSON format with fields for vendor, date, items, and total amount. The model extracted everything perfectly. It identified the vendor name, it pulled the date, it passed the table into individual items with quantities and prices. It calculated the total and it output everything as clean JSON, no manual formatting, no cleanup needed, just pure structured data ready to drop into a database. This is a game changer for accounts payable teams. Right now, most companies either manually enter invoice data 
or use expensive services like build.com or Stamply. With DeepSeek OCR, you can build your own invoice processing pipeline for basically free. The third demo is multi-language extraction. I found a poster that had both English and Chinese text. The layout was complex with overlapping graphics and text boxes. I used this prompt. Extract and translate all text from this poster containing both English and Chinese text into English. The model extracted every piece of text. It preserved the layout structure and it translated the Chinese text into English on the fly. This opens up so many use cases. If you work with international documents, you can now process them without hiring translators. If you have multilingual customers, you can automate support ticket processing. If you run an e-commerce store, you can extract product details from foreign supplier catalogs. Now let's talk about the throughput claim 200,000 pages per day. Here's the math. That's about 2.3 pages per second running 24 seven. Of course, in reality, you wouldn't run it 24 seven, but even at eight hours per day, you're looking at 66,000 pages. That's still massive. The catch is you need an A100 GPU with 40 gigabytes of VRAM. That's not cheap. An A100 costs about $10,000 to buy or around $1.50 per hour to rent on cloud platforms like Lambda Labs or RunPod. But here's the thing, if you're processing hundreds of thousands of documents, that cost pays for itself instantly. Compare it to hiring data entry staff or paying per page fees to OCR services. The economics make sense fast. And if you don't need that level of throughput, you can run the model on smaller GPUs. It'll be slower, but it still works. I tested it on an RTX 4090 and got about 0.5 pages per second. That's still 43,000 pages per day if you run it continuously. Now let's talk about the pros and cons. Pros first, the accuracy is incredible. It handles complex layouts better than anything I've tested. It's open source with an MIT license, so you can use it however you want. The throughput potential is insane if you have the hardware uh, and it integrates easily with existing tools like transformers and VLLM. Now the cons is brand new. This literally came out today. That means there could be bugs. There could be edge cases that don't work well. You're basically an early adopter. It also requires serious hardware for full throughput. An A100 is not something most people have lying around. You'll either need to rent cloud GPUs or scale down your expectations, and you still need good quality inputs. If your images are blurry or low resolution, the model will struggle. Garbage in, garbage out still applies. Here's my real world checklist. If you want to use this in production, first, test it on your specific document types. Don't assume it'll work perfectly just because it worked on my demos. Every use case is different. Second, invest in good image quality. Use a decent scanner or camera. Make sure lighting is consistent. Pre-process images if needed to improve contrast. Third, monitor performance over time. Track accuracy rates. Track processing speed. Make sure the model is actually saving you time and money. Fourth, stay updated with the GitHub repo. DeepSeek will probably push updates and improvements over the next few weeks. You want to stay on the latest version. Fifth, understand the license. MIT means you're free to use it commercially, but you should still read the terms to make sure you're compliant. And because it's open source, the barrier to entry is low. You don't need millions in funding to build a competitive product. You just need a good idea and some engineering talent. This is also great news for existing businesses. If you're currently paying for OCR services, you can now bring that in-house and save a ton of money. If you're doing manual data entry, you can automate it and redeploy those people to higher value work. I'm, I'm already thinking about how to use this in my agency. We deal with a lot of client documents, contracts, invoices, reports, being able to automatically extract and process that data would save us hours every week. One more thing I want to mention, uh, this model is part of the DeepSeek VL2 family. That means it shares the same underlying architecture as their other vision language models, DeepSeek has been putting out some really impressive models lately. They're competing head to head with the big players like OpenAI and Anthropic, and they're doing it with open source models that anyone can use. This is important because it means we're not locked into proprietary APIs. We're not at the mercy of pricing changes or rate limits. We can run everything on our own infrastructure. That's the power of open source AI. All right, let me wrap this up. DeepSeek OCR is a 3 billion parameter vision language model optimized for OCR. It was released today on Hugging Face, with an MIT license. It can process 200,000 pages per day on an A100 GPU. It handles handwritten text, complex layouts, and multilingual documents better than any OCR tool I've tested.
The setup is simple, install Python, Transformers, and VLM, load the model, start processing images. The use cases are endless, invoice processing, contract analysis, form automation, data entry, research tools, legal tools, healthcare tools, anywhere you have documents, this model can help. The biggest limitations are that it's brand new and it requires serious hardware for full throughput. But if you have the hardware or you're willing to rent cloud GPUs, this is a game changer. I've tested it on handwritten notes, scanned invoices, and multilingual posters. The accuracy is incredible. The speed is insane and it's completely free to use.